In this pygmonic, we will take a look at an osteopathic overview of the lymphatic system, shown here as the network of lymph limes. The lymphatics of the left head and neck drain into the left lymphatic duct, also called the thoracic duct, just before that vessel empties into the subclavian vein. This is shown as the laughing left head and neck. The left thorax and upper extremity is shown here as the laughing left thorax and upper extremity. The left upper lung drains into the left bronchomediastinal trunk, and the left upper extremity drains into the left subclavian duct. They both then drain into the left lymphatic duct. The abdomen and lower extremities are shown in this pygmonic as the abdomen and lower extremities. The lymph from this part of the body travels to the thoracic duct via an intersection at the bottom. This is the starting point of the thoracic duct and is called the cisterna chili. The right side of the head and neck is represented as this riding right head and neck. The right head and neck's lymphatic system drains into the right lymphatic duct via the right jugular trunk. The right thorax and upper extremity is shown as the riding right thorax and upper extremity. The right lung and lower left lung's lymphatics drain into the right bronchomediastinal trunk, while the right upper extremity drains into the right subclavian trunk. These both eventually empty into the right subclavian vein via the right lymphatic duct. The thoracic inlet is a diaphragm depicted as the lymph lime drain. This is between the cervical spine and the thoracic spine and is made up of Sibson's fascia and is transversed by various vessels, including lymphatic vessels. The thoracic diaphragm is another diaphragm in the body, shown by thorax and his diaphragm trampoline. This structure is used in respiration, and the only lymphatic vessel that moves through it is the thoracic duct. The pelvic diaphragm is represented by the pelvic diaphragm trampoline. It is made up of the levator ani and the coccygeus. Somatic dysfunction of this structure can cause lower extremity edema. The rest of the characters in this pygmonic are dedicated to dysfunction related to lymphatics. Tissue changes are shown as this tissue box with the delta triangle and are often indicative of lymphatic congestion. Chapman points are represented by the chaps man and can be used to identify somatic dysfunction causing distortion of the fascia. Many patients have a tense pelvic diaphragm, shown here as a tense tent pelvis diaphragm trampoline, which can be palpated on exam. It may feel full, boggy, or have a decreased range of motion. Patients can also have restricted thoracic cage movement, depicted as the angry restrictive belt thorax cage moving. A restriction in thorax movement can be palpated on osteopathic examination and is associated with rib dysfunction. In summary, the left head and neck, the left thorax and upper extremity, and the abdomen and the lower extremities drain into the left lymphatic duct, which is also called the thoracic duct. The right head and neck and the right thorax and upper extremity both drain into the right lymphatic duct. Both the left and right lymphatic ducts drain into their respective subclavian veins. And remember, the body has three major diaphragms, the thoracic inlet, the thoracic diaphragm, and the pelvic diaphragm. The thoracic inlet is made up of Sibson's fascia and is at the level of the cervical thorax junction. The thoracic diaphragm is a respiratory diaphragm and the only lymphatic vessel that transverses it is the thoracic duct. The pelvic diaphragm is made up of the levator ani and coccygeus muscles. Tissue texture changes can indicate lymphatic congestion. Chapman's points can help a practitioner identify fascial distortion. A tense pelvic diaphragm will feel full and boggy. And lastly, restriction of the thoracic cage, restriction of the thoracic cage can be palpated with rib cage movement and is associated with rib dysfunctions. The lymphatic system is like a highway carrying lymph limes throughout the body. So this guy, we'll call him Sam. He decides to capitalize on this and start his own lime distribution business. At first, he was laughing all the way to the bank. It was great. He got a business partner, Thor, and the two of them laughed the whole way through the upper extremities, then down to the abdomen and lower extremities. However, things took a turn when they get to the right head and neck. Sam had to get serious. His ha-has turn into writing clauses and laws. 
and Thor wasn't a fan. That's when sh** hit the diaphragm, if you know what I mean. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our treatment modalities, Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from muscle energy, counter strain overview, high velocity low amplitude thrust, or HVLA, myofascial release and soft tissue, zinc's common compensatory pattern, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.